Um, this is a client who called in to ask about past lives. Mm, we haven't had one of those in a while. They'll ask about their future. They'll ask about a career and a, or a relationship and say, go open. And I find that a past life will come in to teach them what their lessons are and what they're working on and what they're stuck in. Mm-hmm. And that it's a repetitive pattern. Therefore, there's more likelihood that they're ruminating. Neat. Unless they get the emotional intelligence to break the rumination pattern all on its own. But a, not a lot of people, unless they're in therapy for particular reasons, understand that they're ruminating. They just live their life that way. And a lot of them think everybody lives their life that way and that it's just normal. Well, and whether you're in therapy or not, your therapist is not going to be qualified or know enough to say, this mm. is a past life pattern. Right. So you kind of dropped a whole bunch of bombs that I don't think we were even going to talk about today. But well, here they are. Yes, and here they are because this all has to do with this uh, gentleman. So I just turned, asked the spirit guides what they had about past lives, and they said, we're going to talk about lifetimes of addiction. Mm. As his, like right off the top with him, and I said, is this going to have relevance? Because you, this is what I like. I want it to have relevance. Mm -hmm. Not that people are calling to ask about past lives just out of curiosity. I'm not so interested in doing sessions like that. I want them to pertain to something. I want to see that they're a benefit to the client. Well, I think you're pointing out two really important concepts, and mm -hmm. that is that many clients ask about past lives out of pure curiosity, mm -hmm. not knowing that there will be relevance. Mm -hmm. I think it's fair to say that you and I aren't interested unless there's relevance, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily why it comes up. Exactly. For the other person. Yep. So, yeah. Eliasis, oh, I hate the name that you picked, but I'm going to try and go with it. So, Eliasis guides um, tell me that he's had addictions in the past to alcohol, to sex, to drugs, and to people pleasing, and that I can go ahead and explain that to him, um, and that if I want, I can ask for validation or see what he wants to do with that kind of message. And I, so I mentioned, I said, you know, Eliza said they're bringing up the fact that there have been many lifetimes with different kinds of addictions. I mentioned them all, and he goes, I'm curious. He says, I never would have expected that you would have said people pleasing. He goes, I don't understand that at all. I get the drug, the alcohol, the sex addictions. I understand the gambling. I get the other forms that you've mentioned. But I don't understand why you put people pleasing in there. And I said, oh, I said, because it's an addiction as well. And so he asked me. Mm. Can, I, can I just kind of, this might go in a totally different direction. Can I just try and illustrate it in a different way? Mm -hmm. I, I want to pair it with something that we know to be an addiction as a society, which is shopping. Oh, the, yeah. The spending addiction and how often people who have spending addictions gift. And so they may see, or maybe people can kind of connect the dots here and go, okay, I can see how a spender would overspend as part of their addiction and it would become gift giving, lavish gifts to all these people. But part of the addiction in there is the feeling they get when someone says thank you, gets excited, the thrill they get from giving. Mm -hmm. So if people can go, well, yeah, that makes sense to me as an addiction, that's exactly people pleasing. It's mm -hmm. just not necessarily spending money mm -hmm. to get that feeling of importance or appreciation. Or self-worth, self-esteem, because it's not based in anywhere, any place that's actually healthy. It's based in, as you said, this addiction to the gambling, to the shopping, to mm -hmm. whatever. In your case, it was to the shopping. I like when you credit me for the things that you say. <laughs> Gambling didn't come out of my mouth. That was you, but thank you. I am very smart. <laughs> That's good. Go on. 